Anakin and Obi-Wan's brotherhood grew as the two evolved into brash Jedi. While Obi-Wan was prone to taking risks, he was also incredibly protective of Anakin, who chose to take risks if it meant resolving a situation quickly. In Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, Anakin was 19 years old when he was reunited with Padme, and the two eventually began to show affection for one another. At the same time, he lost his mother to Tusken Raiders and lost his hand in a duel with Count Dooku. He would also marry Padme not long after. While this year of his life was eventful, it was nothing compared to his not-so-distant future and his transformation into Darth Vader. The Clone Wars took a toll on Anakin as he constantly fought and witnessed moments of unfairness regarding the Council, such as their quick expulsion and persecution of Ahsoka Tano, even when she was innocent. Furthermore, in Star Wars, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, his efforts to be an upstanding Jedi weren't enough to grant him the rank of Master. But, in 19 BBY, things came to a head when visions of his wife's death threw him into the arms of Chancellor Palpatine, who promised to save her, even though he revealed himself as a Sith Lord. His fear would lead to him killing Mace Windu to protect Palpatine and aligning himself with the dark side as Darth Vader. He would then tie up any loose ends for the Emperor and face off against Obi-Wan, which cost him multiple limbs and caused him to be severely burned by the fires of Mustafar. From that point on, at only 22 years old, Anakin had lost everything and was confined to a life-saving suit where he would remain, walking in his anger as a fully realized Darth Vader.